Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Berg, and today, guys, we're going to be talking about the top 10 things that you probably can't do. Now, by that, I mean there definitely should be a few of you guys out there who can do a few of these things we're going to talk about, but for most of us, they're probably just going to be impossible. But that's not going to stop us from trying, is it? Now, let's see how well you guys do as we dive into our number 10, which is tickling yourself. I can't do it. It's so easy to tickle another person, isn't it? I'm very ticklish and someone barely has to touch me and I start squealing like a pig. It's not that hard. Now that's because a part of our brain that detects pressure gets triggered, but that then gets analyzed through a different part involved in pleasurable feelings. So why can't we tickle ourselves then? Well, that's because the cerebellum part of our brain right here at the very back, that governs your body's movements and it tells the rest of your brain exactly what is going to happen before you even tickle yourself. And so the brain cancels out the ticklish feeling. Go on, try it on yourself right now. I can't do it. If someone walked in on you doing this, watching me doing this, it's gonna look a bit weird, isn't it? At number nine, we have touching your nose with your tongue. No. Now, statistically, 10% of all humans can do this, which means there should be hundreds and hundreds of you guys watching it that can do it, but there are thousands of you, like me, who just can't. I've been trying, I've been practicing so hard. Yeah. Now, if you can do it, you have what doctors call Gorlin sign. Sometimes this can mean a person has a connective tissue disorder, but for others, it's just a pretty cool thing to show off at parties. Next up at number eight, we have sneezing with your eyes open. You might think you can, but you probably can't. Unless maybe you actually can. <laughs> There's been this myth going around before most of us were even born that if you sneeze with your eyes open, they will come flying out. And that's the reason that our eyes automatically close. The thing is, that's just not true at all. The force that sends your sneeze flying out at 100 miles an hour doesn't even affect the eyes at all. And even if it did, your eyelids aren't gonna be able to stop your eyeball flying out. The theory is that it's all a strong automatic reflex. The signal that we're about to sneeze goes from the nose to the brain and then back to the eyes. And some biologists think it happens to protect our eyes from getting all that gunk flying out of your nose into your eye. Yeah. Personally, I'm happy I can't do this. I don't want any gunk in my eye. Moving on to number seven now, fist in mouth. <laughs> yes, some people can fit their entire fist in their mouth, but for most of the population, they can barely do half or sometimes even a quarter. This seems to be an ability we lose when we are very young. Most babies can do it absolutely no problem, but as time goes on, our hands get a lot bigger in proportion to our mouths. So why are we unable to put our hands in our mouths? Well, I think it's because we really have no need to, do we? It's kind of our body's way of saying, please don't eat your hand. Don't eat your hand. I'm trying to look after you here. Stop it. Coming in at number six now, we have raising one eyebrow. I don't know if I'm doing it. Can you guys raise one single eyebrow like Spock or The Rock? You might think you can. I thought I could, but if you really want to say you can do this, you can't move your other eyebrow. That's not allowed. How's that? <laughs> It's hard, isn't it? Now, some people can raise one, but the other one moves. Now, some people can raise only one and not the other one, but some people, you know, quite rare specimens, they can do both. It all comes down to just how strong the muscles are in your eyebrows and how much practice you put into it, because some people can train themselves to do this. And if you're one of the lucky ones that can and you're wondering what to do with this amazing talent, check out this 2009 TV advert for Cadbury Chocolate. Number five now, we have waggle your ears. Waggle's a weird word, isn't it? Waggle. Most mammals can move their ears a lot, but for humans, it's a pretty rare trait. It's been estimated that only about 10 to 20% of people can move their ears. It's what's known as a vestigial feature, which means our distant ancestors used to use it. They used to move their ears around to detect sounds, but these days, only a minority of people still have this ability. Can you guys do it? I'm not even sure if I can, actually. Let me just try. I feel like I'm just smiling. I was just smiling. Apparently I can't do it. Something felt like it was moving there, but I'm not sure it was my ear. You guys let me know. At the number four spot now, we have gleeking. I didn't even know this was a thing until I started making this video. Gleeking is where a person can spit by activating their salivary glands under their tongue to shoot out a burst of saliva. Yeah, it's disgusting. I know, but it's also something that most people can't do. Now, unlike some things on this list that are 100% genetic, it seems that you can learn to gleek if you really want 
want to. Some Gleekers have even provided detailed drawings to help the masses learn how to Gleek. But yeah, guys, please don't do this in public. Spitting is still pretty gross, even if it is a Gleek. I went my whole life not saying the word Gleek, and I just said it about seven times. Next up at number three, we have licking your elbow. It is impossible for most people to lick their own elbow. And one study found that when you tell people they can't lick their own elbow, they will immediately try to lick their own elbow. Be honest guys, did you just try? You just tried, didn't you? Ah, uh, not, even, not even close. <laughs> For most people, the combined length of their neck and their tongue is always going to be about two inches shorter than the length of their forearm. But despite some claims, it is not impossible though. Apparently, the Guinness Book of World Records gets about five claims a day from people who say they can lick their own elbow. Maybe some of you guys can do it. Now, the reason those people can do it is because they normally have abnormally flexible muscles in their arms or insanely long tongues or maybe short forearms. I have none of those, which is why I'm not going to do this. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Now my arm hurts. <clears throat> Coming at number two, the paralyzed finger. Take your hand, fold up your middle finger so that your hand is resting on top of the table like this. Now lift up your thumb. Absolutely fine, right? Okay, now try your index finger. All good? Now try your little finger. That one should be absolutely fine. And now lift up your ring finger. I said, I said lift up your ring finger. Go on. What's the matter? Can't you do it? Well, if your hand is working as intended, you shouldn't be able to do that. So don't worry, guys. The reason for this is because all your fingers have separate muscle tendons, but your ring and middle finger actually share just one, which makes doing opposing movements like that pretty difficult indeed. And finally, at number one, draw the number six while making clockwise circles with your leg. Yeah. You heard me. You guys need to be sitting down for this one, so pause the video right now if you need to sit down. Are you guys ready? Okay, so lift your foot off the floor and start making clockwork circles. So for you guys watching, that will be this way. Okay, got it? Now with your right hand, draw the number six in the air. Your foot will change direction. I couldn't do it, and all the people I was with that I asked couldn't do it. Can you guys do it? I'm gonna quietly, confidently say that none of you can. So. Why does this happen? Well, according to the site Science Made Simple, the left side of your brain, which controls the right side of your body, is responsible for rhythm and timing. And it can't handle when your body is doing two opposite movements, so it just decides to combine them into a single motion. But I would love to see if any of you guys can actually do it. That would be amazing. So let me know in the comments below. Can you guys do something that none of your friends can? Do you have like a hidden talent? Maybe we'll use it to make a part two, right here on Most Amazing Top 10. My my name is Danny Berg, you can find me on Instagram somewhere down there, and I'll see all you guys in the next one. Oh, that was close to that one. Yeah, I'm getting closer. Oh.